Welcome to the main page. This presentation show is self-paced. To start your learning journey, choose and click a thumbnail where you want to begin. If you are watching this as a video file, I will walk you through each slide. Hello and welcome to Video Conference Tips and Tricks to Ensure Student Engagement. I am Oria Lisa Maipa, your facilitator for this topic. By the end of this upskilling, you should be able to understand the importance of student to student and student to teacher engagement. Apply the video conference tips and tricks for a more effective teaching and learning. In the context of education, engagement can be defined as a measure of students' participation in the learning process. This includes their interaction and cooperation with a teacher and classmates. So why is student engagement important? First, online course is very much present in today's preferred future. We as facilitators has to step up our technological skills for the sake of our learners. Second, student engagement is one of the primary components of effective online or hybrid teaching. The question then would be, what do students find engaging? There's two answers to that. First is collaboration or cooperation between peers and, of course, the presence of the instructor. One of the best online tools for teachers during this time of remote learning has been video conferencing software. To help you in your efforts to keep students interested and engaged, here are some tips for increasing student engagement during video conferencing. Expectations should be clear, easy to remember and follow, and reasonable. Video conferencing is a valuable tool for teachers and students. Look for software that is safe and secure, such as Zoom, Google Meet, GoGuardian, and the like. Every student has their own unique way of learning. If you only work with video conferencing, then you're limiting yourself and the students. Let's provide our students with both visual and auditory resources. It's difficult to focus on so many students at once, especially in a virtual environment. So keep it short and simple. With smaller classroom, you can manage your students efficiently. They can work on their own schedule and even drop in twice if they feel they need more information. Most students have short attention spans. They get bored more when they feel obligated to learn rather than excited to learn. Don't expect all information to stick if you keep on talking for 30 minutes. To keep them engaged, mix up their lessons. There are a variety of interactive activities you can use to get students actively engaged in a video conference. Here are some activities you may want to consider using in your video conference to engage your students. Here are some best practices for you to consider as you help your students prepare for your next video conference class.
In addition to posting the link at the beginning of the week, send them a reminder link the day before as well. It's always an advantage to be prepared and ready, not just for us teachers, but most especially for our students. If attendance matter most to you, set attendance expectations. You can go as far as a blank screen will not count for attendance. At the beginning of the school year, we usually ask students' expectations. Well, give them something more concrete to expect. Let your students know that just like a live face-to-face -face class, your video conference will be structured with activities for students to interact with each other formally and informally. Including an icebreaker activity from time to time creates a feeling of collegiality and inclusion. It is also recommended that the use and availability of recorded conferences be carefully monitored so that the recordings are not viewed merely as an alternative to attending class. Say hello to ClassPoint, an interactive teaching tool that directly plugs into Microsoft PowerPoint and transform your teaching presentations. It is designed with the following three main features. The inking tools allow you to annotate on any slides to better explain important concepts or elaborate your ideas, and it works best with digital inking hardware such as touchscreen laptops or interactive whiteboards. Furthermore, you can add unlimited new slides on the fly and use them as whiteboards. All annotations will be saved together with the slides they are on. Let students join your presentations using an auto-generated unique class code. Unlimited number of students can be connected wherever they are by simply using a web browser. Once joined, they will be able to follow your slideshow, receive updated annotations, save any slides as needed, and most importantly, submit their responses to questions you ask. With our interactive quizzing tools, you can easily turn any slides into questions. During slideshow, when the question buttons are clicked, every student will be engaged and submit their answers in real time. What's more, responses collected will be natively saved as new slides for further editing and review. If any of the three features can make your PowerPoint presentations more engaging, ClassPoint is for you. Download it for free now. Padlet is a free online virtual bulletin board that allows students to collaborate, reflect, share links, pictures, and information, and more. Here are 10 classroom uses for Padlet. Number one, Padlet is a great tool for brainstorming and sharing ideas. Students in a class or group can contribute their ideas to one central online location. The brainstorming Padlet can then be saved and revisited later. Number two, Padlet can also be used to conduct surveys and votes. Using the reactions functionality, teachers can post several options, then have students like or upvote the ones they wish to choose. Number three, because Padlet gets updated in real time, it's a great way to collect and communicate class or school announcements. Just share the link with the class or on school social media and everyone's informed. Number four, for independent reading, students can use Padlet to highlight quotes, discuss characters, ask questions, review books, and more. Number five, Padlet allows teachers and students to summarize a topic and present the information in an attractive way using text, photos, graphs, and other learning tools. Number six, Padlet is a great way to celebrate birthdays and say thank you to guest speakers. Just create and design a Padlet and have students post their well wishes or thank yous. Number seven, if paper graphic organizers have gotten stale, Padlet can liven them up. Main idea and details, Freyer models, Venn diagrams, all can be converted into collaborative Padlets. Number eight, 
Padlet is a great platform for competitions such as photo contests. Students post photos and other students evaluate the photos to determine a winner. Number nine, students and groups can access their own Padlet to collaboratively create paperless multimedia posters that can then be presented to the class. Number 10, Padlet provides an effective platform for students to build portfolios of their work. No need to keep a folder, just post portfolio contents as they are created. There are many more ways to use Padlet. For ideas, check out the Padlet gallery at padlet.com slash about slash gallery. The Parlay Universe is our growing library of community-created, ready-made discussion prompts that save teachers time and connect the classroom to the events and ideas shaping our world. Parlay's online roundtable is a collaborative online discussion where students share their own unique ideas, build new ideas together, and learn to give and receive constructive peer feedback. Parlay's live roundtable is an in-class, face-to-face -face discussion activity. Our digital hand raise system encourages active listening, ensures all students have the opportunity to participate, and helps students make their contributions more intentional and substantive. Throughout Parlay, teachers draw from engagement summaries and rich data visualizations, making it easy to measure, assess, and provide personalized feedback to students as they develop and refine their critical thinking and communication skills. Introducing Nearpod. With Nearpod, you can make every lesson interactive. Launch lessons your students can't wait to join with collaborative, engaging activities like virtual reality, simulations, and gamified quizzes. As the teacher, you'll always know where your students are with Nearpod's formative assessments, including polls, open-ended questions, draw-its, and more. Get started with what you already have. Upload any of your favorite resources, PowerPoints, Google Slides, and videos, including directly from YouTube. Then, add in media and formative assessment in a few clicks. And now you can add questions directly into videos to make them interactive. Get started even faster with our library of pre-made lessons and videos, built in partnership with some of your favorite brands. You can use them as is or customize to meet the unique needs of your students. Once you're ready to launch your lesson, choose from three teaching modes. In live participation mode, you control the pace and students participate on their devices, either in person or remotely with web conferencing. In student paced mode, students move through and participate on their own, whether they're working from home or in class working in centers, stations, or groups. With front of class mode, you can use Nearpod without student devices and facilitate collaborative discussions. Imagine what you can do with Nearpod. Your students will love lessons that combine engaging media with collaborative ways for them to show off how much they've learned. You'll love unlocking student understanding in real time and having reports to inform the next day's instruction. You'll wonder how you taught without it. Learn more and get started for free at Nearpod.com. Want to create amazing video lessons in minutes? Edpuzzle is your missing piece. With Edpuzzle, you can choose from the millions of videos available from YouTube, National Geographic, TED Talks, Khan Academy, and more. You can also reuse ready-to-go video lessons made by other teachers or upload your very own teaching video. Then, use Edpuzzle's video editor to create your perfect lesson. Embed your own questions to check your students' understanding, cut sections to show your students only the most important parts of the video, and even record voiceover so you can explain concepts in your own words. Once you've finished, you can assign it to your students in just one click and prevent skipping to make sure your students don't miss a thing. When you want to check in on your students' progress, use Edpuzzle's hassle-free analytics to get all the information you need. 
see who still needs to watch the video, what your students responded, and their total scores. So remember, with Edpuzzle's free platform, you can make any video your lesson. are born learners. We crave new challenges and new adventures. Our creativity is limitless. And when we learn through play, amazing, often unexpected things happen. In schools and in homes around the world, students are using Minecraft to build cities, explore coral reefs, to create with code, run science experiments, and to tell fantastic stories. Minecraft has always been about exploration and discovery, bringing together a global community of co-creators. Now, the next generation of engineers, biologists, and designers are inspiring us with their creations. Minecraft Education Edition empowers learners to solve problems they care about, to connect in new ways far beyond the classroom, and to build a better world through the power of play. Congratulations, you have reached the end of the upskilling on video conference tips and tricks to ensure student engagement. The next topic will be about social learning with the use of the application Get a Professor. I hope to see you on our live video session. I will be demonstrating to you how to use some of the tools I have mentioned in this training. So, see you.